fellas, uh, nice back here again with you today and today we're going to do a quick inbox review of Asagawa's Zero, the Type 11, alright, uh, this is going to be another up and coming uh, build series on my channel, uh, this and another one that I'm going to do after this, um, once the Spitfire is near enough done, I'm going to be starting on this, so hopefully Monday, Tuesday, maybe a little bit later. So keep looking out for it on my channel. Right, on with the kit. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Right, so there we are. Nice bit, nice bit of box art. Pile inside. Okay. Uh, all the gold all the way around. Alright, so we'll get it. open the box. In the box we can see we've got one instruction sheet, one decal sheet, one clear sprue, one, two, three grey screws. So we'll pull it over there and we'll start off with the instruction sheet. So there we are. Mitsubishi A6M2A Zero Fighter Type 11. All right. So as you can see, you've got all the usual gump in there about the uh, the aircraft itself. And when we open it up, it's like the fold-out type version with our sprue map, colours in Mr. Colour and Aquarius, Mr. Hobby Colour. Okay, with the uh, the names room down there all right so that's rather good and we move on to part one which as normal with any type of aircraft build is the cockpit okay cockpit's like a tub type all right so it all goes together before then going into the fuselage and with the engine putting the cowling on all right with the different uh whether we need to fill recess lines and what have you same moving on to the wings the wings joining the fuselage with the wheel wells moving on to the the wheels the uh, fuel tank putting it all together with the prop and the can canopy and then we move on to markings so number one up here is 12 flying group number two and number one for the 12 flying group flown by uh minor lieutenant mirori suzuki and Number three, again, slightly different markings if you notice the tails. So all one, two and three, it's got this like two-tone camo with the green and the lighter grey. And number four, as you can see, big circle, the one I'm going to do is like the all grey colour. All right. And that is the instructions. So pretty straightforward. So we'll move on to the plastic. Starting with the cockpit screw okay and as we can see some nice detail on there on the cockpit sidewalls wheels cockpit floor moving round onto the engine parts some control sticks and knobs for the cockpit the instrument panel which has got some nice detail on there I do believe that's got some it's got some decals for that so we'll see it's got some nice recessed power line on the tailplane with the fabric there what I might do is take that up and uh, and use some ink to get some a nice uh, texture on there but no see okay 
I'm probably going to uh, drill out those holes in the seat. But yeah, not a bad start. Next one, upper and lower wing halves. Again, nice, thinly crisp, uh, thinly uh, scribed panel lines. A few scratches here and there, obviously where it's been in the packet, but that should be easily uh, buff out. A little bit of detail in the wheel well. Not yet, that's that one. Next up, we have uh, the main fuselage. Again, some nice detail. Nothing on the inside to look at. Again, nice detail in the wheel well. Uh, don't know what those bits are. I think that's the headrest. The cowling. Not bad. A little bit of flash here and there. Again, this kit is quite old. That's all the main sprues dealt with. We move on to the clear sprue. Only thing I don't really like about Hasegawa plastic and their clear parts is that the canopies, the ridges around the, around the edges, there's not really a ridge there. They're just scratched in. So unless you've got a mass set, which I have for this, I must admit, it's quite difficult to actually get the outline of the uh, canopy frames. All right, but again, the plastics, lovely and clear. Uh, so yeah, looking good. And then we move on to the decals. Okay. Nice and um, uh, well, a satiny sort of finish. All right. Uh, I'm going to have a look, see if I can get away with painting that part. Uh, I haven't got the right red, so I'm not even going to even attempt to do the the red for the meatballs. And I've got some ni a nice blue that I might be able to match up for the the tail parts, but we'll see. But other than that, a nice decal sheet, nice and simple. Not many decals. Oh, you yep, get there. We are. Look. Decals for the instrument panel. All right. So yeah, not a bad kit. So yeah, that's uh, Hasegawa's uh, Zero. A nice looking kit. I have, like I said, I have got some extras for this. I've got some foot wedge, and I have got the mass set. Uh, so yeah, this will like be a build series coming up. Uh, well, I'm not sure whether this is going to be next or the other one. I'm going to do a quick in uh, inbox review in a bit. All right. But keep an eye out on the channel for this. And until next video, see you later, guys.